What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to Resident Evil 5. We just got away from the bat dude, bat centipede butt dude. There's that damn spider again, but I don't feel like wasting the ammo. And, you know, we dodged the laser beam mirrors. There's another spider. You stay right where you are before you catch a bullet. Now I don't know where we are. I don't know where we are, but if they've got laser, you know, I don't want to say technology, but if they can use lasers, then we have problems. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my sinuses are bothering me today. You'll have to excuse me. Investigate. Oh. <sighs> yeah. I have memories of this. I do. I do. I see. There's a trick to getting out of here. Yeah, by the look of it, you have to, uh... Tread carefully. Those beams are dangerously focused. Yeah, I know, Sheva. We kinda got... freaking vaporized by some of them. Well, technically, we didn't die from any of them. So... Alright, let's look at this. This pedestal yep. is not like the others. I wonder... So we have to get the lights going towards that one. But don't let it fool you. It's not as simple as just turning that one. Because what's gonna happen is that beam is gonna travel the entire path when you turn it. So, turning this one is a no-no. Unless, I think I actually might have an idea of where it goes. Because if you notice, you also can't go that way either. Now, let's just, for the hell of it, move it and see what happens. Okay, I was about to say, way to prove me wrong, why don't you? Down? That's it? You are kidding me! You are kidding me! That pillar is in the way, but I think we can knock it over. Okay, so that might have been... Okay, okay. That might have just been an easy one. I forgot that there were multiple ones. This is gonna be the one that causes the problems. Because we have to direct the beam ourselves. If we can knock it over... Knocked down. Yeah, it's a good thing I wasn't standing behind it. <laughs> if I was, then would have caused a problem. And it just disappears. Alright, so yeah. Sheva stays up there, out of the way. Uh, see, I can move this one see. Oh, God. Don't do it. Okay. I was thinking it was going to get me in the back. So, we're going to turn it back. This is where shit's going to get fun. So, I think I have to turn this one. <clears throat> this one instead. Hopefully. Not that way. I don't know if I should even turn it that way. Don't get me, Beam. Ooh. Okay, we're going to turn that right back that way. Alright, so that one is not the one that you turn. So it has to be this one. But what I could do is technically move this this way. There we go. And then that one 
Let me go ahead. Well, I don't know if I need to knock that over or not. I don't want to preemptively do it. So we're going to turn this one this way. Okay, so I do need to knock it down. Hey, that's it. That's it. I got it. I got it figured out. Knock down. Hey, there we go. All right. Now, Sheva, um, how are you going to get down here? Another one down. Okay. Next? All right, never mind. I was thinking she was trapped up there for a second. But hey, I did that. All right, let's go. Oh boy, we have a third one. Oh boy. So, what's in this treasure chest right here? Nothing. Really? Really? My allure of greed has gotten to me once again. But hey, now I have shotgun ammo this time. And Jeff is doing a good job of holding it down. Get off me. Get off me. Back up. Back it up. I have a hand grenade. If I can move. If I can move. Get off of me. Oh, it's such a waste. It would have been such a waste. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm well aware. Um, oh, so I'm just... I was about to say, I'm just screwed. Huh? Because you don't have ammo, I'm just screwed. God dang it! Get off of me! I am not juicy for you! Sit down! Really? You done? You done. Thank you. My gosh. Yeah, that just goes to show you, this game is very tricksy. They catered to my love of money again. <laughs> again. Whoa, okay, okay. We're not fixing to do this. I've already had enough of you. I've already had enough. Sit down. Just sit down. Just crumble and sit down. This guy... A trap. What a way to go. At least he sprung that trap for us. Because I can already tell you now, I'd have sprung it. <laughs> I'd have sprung it. All right, now let's see what we're working with now. Okay, this one looks like I have to move it. Oh, if I move that, will it get her? Interesting, we're gonna test that theory. Okay, it went right below her. It went right below her. So it looks like the name of the game is to get it all the way this way. Uh-huh. Hold up a second. Hold up a second. Let me turn this. Now let's turn this and I'll see if I'm right. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine that. I think that beam would have shot right towards me. It would have shot right towards me. So I think I have to go all the way around to that one right there, turn it, and then it'll send it down the hallway.
Okay, so it's not shooting directly at me this time. But it also wouldn't go down the hall, would it? At the right angle, it would. So we're going to test it and see. Yes! Oh, yeah! Puzzle Master, baby! Now let's be gentle going down here. There's a reason why there is a wall in the middle. <laughs> All right, Sheva, be mindful when right, you get over right. here. Yeah, man. I was thinking that was going to be a lot more difficult than it was. Yeah, see? Even she's taking it slow. She knows. Never mind. Now she's running. Way to prove me wrong, Sheva. All right, that was freaking awesome. Hell yeah, you are out of everything. Oh, uh, there was some machine gun ammo too. I just didn't get the opportunity to pick it up. And this is very important. What is this place? This is where it all began. underground these are no ordinary flowers indeed they are not wait Would you look at that? Umbrella. Yeah. What? what was Umbrella doing? I don't know. It doesn't look like anyone's been around for a while. Tricell? Are you sure they wanted to keep this place a secret? Some of this equipment's got the Tricell logo on it. Are they working together? Who knows? All right, so let me explain. That one death is because of Sheva. Let me explain. Let me explain. Whenever she was uh going to get that uh that one tablet across the way, she ended up taking a lot of damage because she got dunked on. And when you are in that dying state, you have to have somebody come get you, be it her or Chris. And she didn't get to me in time and she died. So technically that death does not count. I wonder if this is what Irving meant by <clears throat> Not sure, but obviously there's a connection here with Umbrella. Yep. It's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Yep. We're looking around to make sure we don't <clears throat> miss anything, but let's go up here and see what this has to say. Investigate. Was Umbrella doing research on these flowers? It's a strong possibility. It's a strong possibility. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Ooh, what's this? I, I want to redocument. There we go. From Chief Researcher Brandon's Journal Number One, 1966, December 4th. Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly, this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing more than a rumor or legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us but later research would prove us wrong. The first person to recognize the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He hypothesized that a virus, hereto unknown, might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so perspic uh, per, uh, perspicacci, whatever. His hypothesis. <laughs> 
The virus discovered in that flower was labeled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results, and staved off attacks from the uh, Indapaya. I guess that's how you say that. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wants to return home as soon as possible to delve deeper into his research. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secrets of this progenitor virus as soon as possible. 1967. <clears throat> February 12th. We've hit the metaphorical brick wall. We brought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA altering characteristics. We cultivated the flower to mass produce the progenitor virus. At first, everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they flowered. But here is when a major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they've grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. March 23rd. We've made no progress. We've tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, water, temperature, and light exposure, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction this research was taking. During the debate, Mr. Spencer interjected some foolhardy notion of starting a company. <clears throat> Without the progenitor virus, there's no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Starting a company! Open. The progenitor virus. Remember how I said this is where it all started? Remember, remember that. We might get told about it later. I was gonna kick that open, Sheva. You ruined the groove. I mean, if you would have kicked it open, that would have been cool. But I, I know what she's doing. Her AI is, you know, having her be like, okay, I need to go get ammo. <laughs> so that's what she's doing. Power on. Yeah, you know, it's like I said, and I think it was the Resident Evil 3 remake. How is it, or I think it might have been 2 and 3. How is it that Umbrella is so advanced, but they still have these dinosaur-ass computers? <laughs> Research Center Director Brandon's Journal, 1998. November 16th, we've closed down the Research Center. It's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent to the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard that the Arclay facility in Raccoon City were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I've spent every... That's not us breathing, by the way. I knew I heard breathing! I knew I heard breathing! They're still blind as an old lady and they're ugly as shit. The biggest jump in their evolution seems to be their ability to reproduce. I hate when things don't go according to plan, but since there's still a demand for liquors on the BOW market, I guess things aren't all that bad. So now, we have liquors here too. Shotgun shells, I'm gonna need that. Power this on. What else can we learn? An email to an acquaintance. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to be getting some time off soon. We've completed most of our work on the new project. Sorry, you know I can't talk about work. So they're giving us some time off as a reward for all our hard work. All the staff are leaving tomorrow and we'll finally be getting out of this country. I'm heading straight back to Arizona and I can't wait to get home and see everyone. More than that, I think I'll just be happy to get away from the high and mighty Miguel. Guy thinks he's some sort of super genius. Miguel's the guy that sits next to me at work, and he's a good researcher and all, don't get me wrong. He's got some good ideas and is good at noticing details, but every time he spins, he opens his mouth, he just goes on and on about how great he is. You can't even begin to imagine what torture it is to hear that day in and day out. I wish we made a sedative I could give him. But forget all that, what matters is that I should get back home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. We gotta go out and get smashed. I could use the break. Talk to you soon. Ryan. Alrighty. And there's our proof. There is our proof. Look at this bullshit.
So that just begs the question. What happened first? How how does the timeline stack up? Believe it or not, it actually stacks up rather well. Take it. Roger. It well, you have five. Oh my god. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Give me the grenade. Take this. Yeah, you have that one. You have five. You're like hoarding these daggum things. But yeah, the progenitor virus was like, if I remember right, the first virus. Something like that. Turn. The timeline for Resident Evil is kind of complex, but unlike the, you know, Kingdom Hearts timeline, it actually makes sense. Investigate. Looks like it was torn apart by animals. Not a good way to go. Animal. I think not. Pull lever. I think not. Because I yeah, don't. I saw something. I know. I did too. Now that I think about it, I don't think Chris has ever seen a liquor. I don't think Chris is ever... We have zombie goats. We have big ass rats. All I gotta say... Stay in your cage, Splinter. I'm not taking any chances with you. I know they're gonna... Open the cage for you to get out. I already know. Let's just move. Come on, Roger. Take it. Okay. Yeah, let's just move. Whoa, boy. You scared me, buddy. Hey, ow, right in my shoulder. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, get down from there. Oh, my God. There are two of them. Out the door! They're, I'm well aware! Yeah. Come on, forget it! No! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Let me just equip this real quick! Hold that for me, Lick! Ah! Ah! Yeah, just kill him. Just kill him for the love of God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, hold that. Yes. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Woo boy. Oh, I forgot how scary those things are, man. I completely forgot how scary those things are. Oh, man. And there were two of them right out the door. Didn't we come in here? No, apparently not. It's a different room. Turn. Oh, God. Woo! You see how she's watching me? <laughs> she's... All right, keep your head on a swivel, Sheva. Go ahead, get up in that. Get that box. All right, whatever. Oh, it's just gold. Maybe her AI knew that. It is like, I have no need to get in this box. There is not ammo in here. Okay, nothing around that corner. Uh! You grab it. Roger. Yep. Oh my goodness. You give me an AK-47? I love the AK-47. Oh, and I gave it to her. You know what? You grab it. Roger. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Come on, Roger. Investigate. So this is the monitor room. All the monitors are offline. 
that's okay. I will have to betray the AK-47 this one time. And for those of you that don't know, thank God there weren't more of them. The AK-47 yeah, wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you don't have any room. Uh, go ahead. Give, give me, me that. Use this. You, you right. take Roger. that. Yeah, the AK-47 is one of my favorite guns across gaming. So having to give it to her, it hurts my soul a little bit. I get the feeling he might think I betrayed him, but it's for the best. Go, 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 go. I hear something running. Press the button. I don't think they notice us. Oh my god! Just to be safe, we should be as quiet as possible. Don't kick the door. <laughs> if there was ever a time to not boot a door, it's now. <laughs> oh my God. I, no, no, they're gonna force me to. No shit, Sheva! No shit! I knew they were gonna! And we have to stand our ground! Rifle ammo, give me that! Come on! Come on! Take it! Roger! Good thing I have this! All oh, the tough bastards. Okay, there we go. There we go. Here we go. Get in, Sheva. Get in. Hurry, Hurry up. <laughs> no, I was not playing no games, boy. I was not playing no games. You grab it. Grab okay. that. Give. Uh, oh, I, I'm so full on everything. Uh, what can I do? Well, hold on. Ugh, excuse me. There we go. I have plenty of handgun ammo. Hey, is this? Oh, I thought that was Magnum ammo. Take it. Take that. Okay. You grab. Uh, I'll have you pick you that up. Okay. It's like a little ammo depot. Now she's sitting pretty. Oh, we're about to have a boss fight. We're about to have a boss fight. I already know. I already know. We're about to have a boss fight. Jill might be here. Possibly. Or something else might be here. How he knows what he's doing, I'll never know. There Jill. she is.
Yeah. All this technology. With dinosaur-ass computers. There's so many. They must be kidnapping people from all over the world to experiment on. It stopped. Access denied. Why? I wonder why, Jeva. Well, that's why. Yeah. This big ass spider just came from nowhere. Whoa! You almost got me, game. You almost got me. She just got molly -whopped. Oh, there's no way she can combine those herbs, too. Oh, fleshy bits! There we go. Good thing I upgraded my guns, huh? I just need one moment, one opportunity to fire on that arm. There we go. Yep. He's down. Now's our chance. Yep. Now's our chance to bring the pain. I didn't mean to give that to you! Give those back! Ow! <laughs> ah! Okay! Here we go! Good shit! Good shit! Shit, I missed! There we go! Alright, reload, Chris! Reload, Chris! Ow! Go. Yeah. Oh, you know what I think I have to do? Let me hold one of these. Toss it. Figured as much. Figured as much. We got you, buddy. Oh, wait. You're ready again? You're about to die again? No? Alrighty. Never mind. Never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. You about to eat one more again. Oh, the squad gets to eat, baby. The whole squad gets to eat. Oh, where are you going? Whoa! Oh, that was cheap. That was cheap as fuck. You didn't even give me a chance. That was cheap. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Hold up now. Oh, ow. Come on, hurry up. I am not dying again. I am not dying again. I assure you of that. Ah. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Woo! There he is. Oh, really? Really? And you sprouted out little babies too? Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
There we go. Alrighty. Time to bring it into your face. Ugh. Asshole. I cannot believe he freaking got me like that. I am so pissed off. I am so upset. You have no idea. Well, we did it though. She's not in there. Damn it. Where is she? Mr. Redfield. Oh, hey! How nice to finally make your acquaintance. Who the hell are you? Excella Guillermo. Yeah, that's Excella. Nice. You've done your homework. An officer in the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium. Why? <laughs> As if I need to explain myself to you. Although, weren't you two given orders to retreat? So it was you. <laughs> Where is Jill? Dang. Jill, even if I did know, you think I would tell you? Cut the crap. Tell me where she is. As soon as you two are done with your little vigilante mission, you should leave. There's nothing here worth throwing your life away from. <laughs> She's lying. She knows something. It's time we get some answers. Doggy. Yep, that one death. Ain't that some shit. That is despicable. How he got me like that. You can ask her about that and about Jill once we find her. All right, let's find her then. Well, I mean, Sheva, I just kind of bought that for you and you just went off and used it. I mean, I'm not mad at you. I'm sure you had your best interest at heart AI wise, but you know, Still, I have a complaint. <laughs> but you know what I also realized? Uh, the rounds of ammunition for the grenade launcher uh, come in stacks of 12. So I paid 4800 for 12. Not a bad deal when you get right down to it. And I had her sell that other machine gun because she no longer, you know, needs it because she has my darling sweet baby child. But... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode here. We had a good boss fight. I cannot believe that fucker got me. That's going to have me irked for like another hour because I had him. It was no problems at all. I had him and he just snuck me. I wasn't ready. And I think that was the whole point of that QTE because all that progress and then that one moment you get snuck. And it's just over. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hear the misfit bear baby calling me. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.